Igbokwe reacts to pictures of people looting <laughs> looting shops in South Africa. Joe Igbokwe is indeed a very, very funny comedian. This man likes poxnosing his nose in places that are not even supposed to be. He left his own country. Nigeria, with everything happening in this Nigeria, he went all the way to South Africa to go and poke nose in what is happening in South Africa. Just imagine. I thought there is a saying that they said, remove the pain in your eyes so that you can see clearly to remove the one from the eyes of another. But Ibukwe here keeps on poke nosing his nose everywhere from um, tackling the governors to the ministers and now he has gone all the way to South Africa. This man is indeed a comedian. Igbukwe reacts to the photos of people looting shops in South Africa. Over recent days, South Africa has witnessed unrest in some parts of the country following the arrest and jailing of the country's former president, Jacob Zuma. Many people, especially youths who are fans and followers of the ex-president, has taken to the streets to protest his release from prison and many stalls have been looted during the protests. <laughs> the spokesperson for the All Progressive Congress in Lagos State, Joe Igbukwe, has however shared the photos of the South African looters and reacted to them by saying it's horrible and shameless. Hmm. Horrible and shameless looters in South Africa. That is what Igbukwe said. Hmm. It will be noted that several stores and malls in South Africa have been looted by protesters in the past few days with expensive items gone. The police have, however, talking to the different parts of the affected area to secure properties of store owners as they also disperse protesters with water guns. Hmm. Wow, wow, wow. Igbokwe. Igbokwe will never stop. He will never cease to amaze me. This man is indeed a very, very funny man. Whenever I hear his, names, I, his name, I just start laughing because I know that this man has come again with one comedy or the other. Igbokwe is calling um, South African people who are looting from shops and um, uh, uh, malls, calling them horrible and shameless looters. He has forgotten that the APC um, government uh, did not only loot Nigeria, but they drained Nigeria. <laughs> but instead, instead of him to talk about the APC-led government, instead he's talking about South Africa that he has no business with. Look at this man. Hmm. This is indeed a very, very funny one. Let's go to the comment section and hear people's take on this. At least their government was not using guns to pursue and kill them because of this looting. They use water cannon and rubber bullets. If it is your APC government, do you know how many souls that would have perished now? Hmm. Someone here said, tell the fool. Wow, wow, wow. Hmm. Whether they use gun or not, they are criminals like you. Ibokwe, did you hear that? They said they are criminals like you because all the few APC government are all criminals. Hmm. It is shameless in South Africa, but it is normal in Nigeria where Buhari and your APC government have made the country un unbeatable for her citizens. Okay? Joe Igbokwe is calling our attention to the looting, not the hardship. <laughs> looting of other people's property should be condemned by all reasonable almost a thing, either in Nigeria or elsewhere. Also, I learned that some Nigerians' businesses were looted if such actions are not shameless than what are they. Mm. People should stop paying attention to Joe Igbukwe. He doesn't deserve all that. <laughs> Don't pay attention to Joe Igbukwe, but pay attention to this particular message. This message of looting should not be ignored simply because it is coming from a man that you despise okay even if there are people that we disagree with there will sometime be ground on which we will have an agreement on a matter of principle 
we are not in a in an animal farm has been exposed by a section of the country where four legs is good but two legs bad hmm joe my friend your buhari will also go to jail if you see a life okay madman everywhere <laughs> this man have engaging himself on external affair instead of domestic affair hmm is a madman indeed okay a lot of people has a lot to say about joe Igbuki, but there is something here that i seriously do not understand about joe Igbuki. joe Igbuki is referred as the spokesperson for her progressive congress <laughs> So, Joe Igoke is now the spokesperson for All Progressive Congress, right? And as if that's not enough, Joe Igoke has, has also gotten his, um, his appointment of being the um, Minister of Information. He has gotten that from Lai Mohamed. He stripped Lai Mohamed off his jobs and took over from him. He's the one who is now advocating, or rather, he's the one who is now doing the job of Lai Mohamed. He's the one giving us information. This Joe Igbuko is indeed a very, very funny man. And there is one thing about this man that I like so much. Whenever he's saying all these things, he's always serious when talking. He wouldn't even sound like someone who is just being a joker. <laughs> He sounds so real, like what he's saying, saying is indeed a very meaningful thing. Hmm. Very pathetic. Shame unto that cause country. Wow. Someone is actually calling um, South Africa a cause country. Will you... It's just, don't let me say something else. If South Africa is a cause country, then what can you call Nigeria? South African youth are rocks, okay? Very lazy domain. A pity what a useless set of people. Hmm. Nigerians are very fond of giving people names. In useless country like Nigeria, common palliative international community dispatch to different countries to share to the needy. Not even Nigerian monasty devilish Nigerian leaders hide it and still kill their poor citizens on top. Oh, so now tell me which country is now shameless and cost. If you are saying South Africa is cost, then what is Nigeria and what are our governments? These people, you need to say something else. Most African countries are at the state of self restruction okay? We find it so easy to destroy than to build too bad. It is time wasting if you pay attention to Joe Ibuku. Very soon, he will, he will deny APC. Onoche has just done that. Shameless people, okay? Joe Ibuku, you have followers. I'm your number one follower because I love this man a lot. Whenever he makes me laugh, I just cease to forget my problems. Because this man is indeed a very, very great comedian. If guy is not taking, apart from taking job from a live Mohammed, he's also going to become the next comedian, the best comedian we're going to ha have in Nigeria. And, and take over from uh, Alibaba. <laughs> This man is indeed a joker. He is becoming mad because of family that disown him. This act of repentance, God bless him. <laughs> this man called Joey Book. His situation is worse in every day. Signs of moral devaluation hmm. exemplified by our leaders that are looting our national treasure. Can the next generation survive this? Hmm. Igbo Kwe removed the log of wood in your eyes before going to South Africa where the, their system works. Okay, The black man is very chaotic and always looting at the sight, um, slightest opportunity, whether it's in America, South Africa, or Nigeria. It is shame. Hmm. A lot of people has a lot to say about this. So, hmm. Everybody is bringing their own stories. Everyone is saying what they felt and what they feel like saying. But at the stand right now, I still stand with my man, Igokwe. Igokwe said that they are shameless and horrible. Did you hear that? Okay. Anyway, you can go to the comment section and share your take on this article. Thanks for listening and God bless you.